records. Now to a story featuring our very own Mary Nichols, getting her own nickel in the hopes of inspiring women to get mam mammograms. And we have uh, Amy Nay here with more on the story. And Amy, looks like you have a nickel there. <laughs> I've got it right here, Ron. It actually features a really nice picture of Mary. That is cool. Now, you what's this all about? Her, right? All right, this is really cool. It says, Share the Story of, cor of Courage. It has Mary on the front of it. It has her name and cancer survivor. And it's a special token that folks are helping will make someone go do what Mary did less than a year ago, and that was drag herself into a screening. Now, for Mary, she did it for a story right here at 2 News. Folks at Intermountain Medical Center, where they unveiled this new coin this morning, are hoping that this special nickel right here will become somebody's lifesaver. It's really amazing. It's a piece of currency. I don't know if it's quite currency, but it's certainly something they hope will be of great value to not one person, but a lot of people. And you may be surprised to learn that Utah is among, it's one of the places that people do not go get mammograms. In fact, they have it ranked as one of the lowest in the nation with the screening mammography numbers. They do ask you to go get a mammogram at the age of 40. If you have any family risk, you're asked to go even sooner. We've got a really nice story with Mary being honored with this token. Yeah, it was this morning yeah, We're going to show Medical that to you in just a second. We didn't quite have it uh, up here <laughs> ready to go, unfortunately. Now, Mary has a cold and her, she was losing her voice today, so that's why she's not here right she now. She still did a wonderful job yeah. speaking at the event. You could tell she was struggling through it, but she sure inspires a lot of women. Uh, it, and there have been hundreds of women who have gone, maybe even thousands, to get mammograms mm -hmm. as a result of what she went through. She was very public with it. Yes. And uh, I tell you, she she is so happy to help others and, and to share her experience. That's In fact, I guess we, we have that story right now, so let's take a look at uh, Amy's story. This will become the currency of hope. Dr. Brett Parkinson at Intermountain Medical Center helping unveil Mary's nickel. Because when you give this coin as a gift to another woman, you will be promoting life, health, and survival in a way you could not otherwise do. Dr. Yeah. Parkinson knows how important well, we mammograms can be in finding like cancerous tumors early on. He was the doctor who helped Mary Nichols find her cancer less than a year ago. There are many people here who could say their job saved their life and I'm lucky enough to be able to say that. Mary went for a screening in October of 2011 as part of a news assignment here at 2 News, showing women how easy it is to do what we all know we should. But then Mary became her story, discovering in that screening she had breast cancer and sharing her fight and journey through her surgery and chemo treatments with all of us. Because I think not knowing is the hardest part, not knowing how chemo is gonna affect you, not knowing if it's cancer. She now speaks out to other women, hoping to inspire them to find out. Everybody's at risk, whether you have a family history or not. Of 1,500 Utah women diagnosed with breast cancer last year, 1,200 had no family history. Utah is near last in the nation in compliance for screening mammography. And folks at IMC's Janice Beasley Heart Fixin Breast Center are hoping to change that statistic. Mary was given one of the first nickels, which bears her name this morning, along with three other survivors. So we have four survivors. The spectrum from the 20s to the 80s, and nicely in between. Now, all of us all were asked to pass these on. They each have a serial number, Ron, and you're asked to track it at marysnickel.org. Pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, we'll be happy to see you. Get Mary back here on Monday. Yes. Get her voice back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Amy, very nice story. Thanks a lot.